So in the media research and advertising, um, you know, we're, we've we've now partnered for a couple of years with uh, different research partners, and we're um, and they're you know around the globe. So through them, we do work in 75 countries around the world, and we're continuing to expand that use case. In the past year or so, we have started to diversify into new markets like automotive. So we've just finished a proof of concept with a Japanese OEM manufacturer where we installed cameras and in cars in Tokyo and cars in Boston. So that was fun, see Boston drivers. <laughs> um, uh, quite stressful at times, <laughs> as, I, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, and, we, and, we, and we use all that data to fine tune the algorithms for an automotive context. Um, and so, so we're getting a lot of traction there. We're also integrated into a number of social robotics that are going to be in the market towards the end of the year. So at Affectiva, our mission is to humanize technology um, by bringing emotional intelligence into our digital interactions. And I, I, you know, fundamentally, I think this is going to change the way we interact and interface with devices, with our technologies on our devices, but I also think it will fundamentally change how we as humans connect with one another. Uh, a lot of our communication is mediated through technology and um, I feel that, you know, even though we're connected to way more people today through our devices than we ever were, I feel like the quality of these connections are quite poor. Um, and it, it's still not, nothing beats a face-to-face -face conversation. And so what we're trying to do is bring this emotional data and emotional element into our online conversations, um, thereby humanizing technology. And so ultimately we envision a future where all our devices have a small emotion chip that has you know, cameras and microphones and can sense and adapt to your emotion in real time. Um, and, and that's going to manifest in your car, in your, you know, obviously your phone, but also like devices that you may not, like your, you know, a fridge could have an emotion chip and could personalize its suggestions based on your mood. So what sets us apart in this uh, emerging space is AR data. So we've amassed, you know, 5.4 million face videos around the world, which powers our machine learning. Because um, as you know, in the deep learning world, it's not about the algorithm alone. It's also about the data that powers these networks. Um, so that's definitely a competitive advantage. I would say our general market traction, the fact that we are doing business in 75 countries around the world, we're embedded into um, you know, platforms that use our technology day in, day out. Um, and then our SDKs that run on device, um, this, the, the notion of shrinking these machine learning models so that they run on real time, um, you know, Raspberry Pis, um, that's definitely something that's unique about our, our technology.